Hey, Tracy Repchuk here, and today I'm going to be talking about, um, kind of with Zoom, um, when do you set up a meeting and when do you use a webinar? So first thing you've got to consider with both of those questions is, does the Zoom plan you even have support either of those? So when, you, of course, you get your initial plan, it includes meetings. Uh, when you want to add webinars, that is actually an add-on. And so it just becomes a question of uh, which uh, and when do you need that particular um, function. So uh, here's a little bit of a, a breakdown that I thought might help. Now, in Zoom meetings, you know, um, let's just take a look at an example of some of the, the things you can use here. Now, hello. the things that are really great about a Zoom meeting is you, um, everyone can have audio and video, right? You can sh share your content. Um, it's, it's like an open forum chat, if that's what you want it to be, um, with participants and, and or privately. Um, it, it does have the ability to um, set up polls. And you can do uh, live streaming if you want to. And then one of the great features, of course, of a meeting, the really fun features, is the um, uh, breakout rooms, right? So if you want to set up a breakout room and then send, like, you know, if you have 100 participants and you want to have 10 breakout rooms of 10 people each, you can um, set that up. And so that becomes a, a great way for a large group to be able to interact um, in a way that, you know, you can get some value from it. So pretty much the majority of people are using Zoom for the meeting function. Now, um, so what's the difference between that and a webinar? And when would you need to add the webinar technology? So um, I pretty well do all webinars. The only time I do a meeting is when it's going to be something quick and something where I'm meeting perhaps somebody one on one to do a, uh, a sales call, a strategy session, things of that nature. So um, Generally, all of my stuff runs along uh, the concept of webinars. So let's take a, a quickie look at something like that. Now, um, again, depending on your feature, I could have up to 500 people attend uh, a webinar. Um, content sharing is very different. It's kind of like a, ho a host, a co-host, and a panelist. Um, we control the audio and video, and so when you're having a meeting, you're looking for interaction. When you're doing a webinar, it's almost like a one-way flow, right? You, the only thing you're really looking for is perhaps a little bit of interaction, which you can handle in the chat uh, area. And in general, you're just looking for a way to um, broadcast or, and um, really learn and teach and present something. Uh, so that's one of the biggest things. And of course, you have the ability to um, to poll just like the other system and you have the ability to live stream just like a meeting but one of the biggest features and the reason that I do um, uh, this uh, as a webinar in almost all cases is this ability right here the email settings are the game change for me in that um, we can, I can set reminders, which is a, a key element to the success of, uh, of people showing up for something, right? So I do it like one hour and one day before. Um, I can do follow-up emails to attendees one day after. And so the good thing about that, especially if you're doing a webinar, is you can say, you can do follow-up, you can send them to promo links, you can send them to sales pages, etc. Um, or you can send them to a replay page on uh, automatically, right, without you doing anything additionally. And same with this, follow-up email to absentees, people that did not show. Again, you could send them to a replay page uh, that, of course, has them watch the actual webinar and then activates perhaps the offer at that time um, and, and things of that nature. So this really here, the email setting to me, 
is the major reason you would use webinar over the um, meeting uh, platform. And so again, it comes with a price change. So that's something to very much consider. And um, uh, you know, if you're looking for uh, access to this platform and maybe you haven't started, maybe you have and you want to upgrade to the webinar feature, come and talk to me because I have some uh, great uh, ways to to get that um, for a super low price um, and uh, I look forward to helping you um, with your meetings, your webinars and your continuation of your success in getting your message to millions. So that's it for this. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.